welcome to the online church. Hallelujah. Praise God. So good to see you all out there. And here we are gathered together in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. It's like we have a full church, a full church. Hallelujah. That song that you heard, that you were listening to, is all hail the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate fall. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. That's giving praise and glory and honor to our Lord and Savior and King, Jesus Christ. And that song mm -hmm. commands all people to hail the power of Jesus' name. And, and even the angels fall prostrate before him. Bring forth the royal diadem. We're going to be there, ladies and gentlemen. One day we're going to be there when uh, they bring forth the royal diadem. That's the royal crown. And we are going to crown Jesus Lord of all. Don't miss it. Don't let anything prevent you from being there. Mm -hmm. We have an appointment. We have an engagement with the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Oh, I know some of you are going through difficulties right now, challenges, challenges with your health, sickness and disease trying to attack your body. We know some people are experiencing grief for the loss of loved ones, and there are some who are going through financial troubles and difficulties, and the rent man and the mortgage company is threatening, and the, the, house, the, the car dealer is threatening to take back your car, but don't you fret, don't you worry about it. Jesus has got it all in his hands. All hail Amen. the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate fall. Look, the angels are going to fall prostrate before the Lord Jesus. We're not going to let angels outdo us. God, the, the, the word of God reminds us that God gave us a song that the angels cannot sing. We have been washed in the blood. The angels have not been washed in the blood. They have not gone through these persecutions, these difficulties that we have gone through here on earth. So we've been washed in the blood of the crucified one. We have been redeemed. That's our song. We sing the song of the redeemed. We have been redeemed by the yeah. Lord Jesus Christ. We've been redeemed from the curse of the second death. We've been given the gift of eternal life through <laughs> Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. So don't fret. Don't you worry about it. Don't let any sickness deter you. Don't let any difficulty deter you. Don't let any financial Amen. problem deter you. Don't let any threats deter you. Satan is a liar. We serve the mighty God. I feel good today. Deep down in my sanctified heart, I feel good. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you to the online church. I want to remind you, Jesus is still sitting on the throne. Yes, hallelujah. yes, yes, hallelujah. We woke up and he's still sitting on the throne. He reigns forever and ever. He has not abdicated. He has not been impeached. The angels did not impeach him. He's still on the throne. He is Lord of Lords. They're not bringing any charges against Jesus. They're not bringing any investigation against him because he is pure and holy. Ladies and gentlemen, we serve the mighty God. So don't you fret, don't you give up, and don't you cave in. Hallelujah. We want to welcome you to the online church. God's got a plan for you. He's got a blessing for you today. You just trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean unto your own understanding. These heavy burdens, they won't last. God is going to make a way. Turn your midnight into day. The songwriter says, Satan had me bound. I felt like giving up. But something deep inside of me, Sylvia, something deep inside of me, Ryan, something deep inside of us, Terry, something deep inside of us, Dustina, told us to keep on going. Don't give up. Don't quit. Don't let these circumstances cause us to quit. Every one of us Amen. faces issues. Every one of us faces problems. But more the mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. So all hail the power of Jesus' name. 
He has given us his name. He's given us power. He's given us the gift of salvation. He's given us his word. And he has given us the Holy Spirit. He has given us the Holy Spirit. So we bless the Lord. We praise the Lord. And we give God the glory and the honor. Hallelujah. Wow, what an introduction. What an introduction as I welcome you to the online church where Jesus Christ is Lord. He is moving by his spirit. He's healing. There's healing today. There's healing today. If you're sick in your body, I want to remind you, there's a man at the river. He's giving sight to the blind. There's a man down at the river. He's giving sight to the blind. He's healing arthritis. He's healing uh, headache. He's healing stomach ailments. He's healing cancer. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a man at the river. He's giving sight to the blind. He's healing people and delivering them from the flu and all manner of sickness. So let's, let's join up with this man at the river. We're talking about Jesus. Jesus, not only is he at the river, but he's right here in the midst of us. Hallelujah. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. You are welcome in this place. Hallelujah. Yes. Holy Spirit, this is one church where you will not be kicked out. We welcome you, Holy Spirit, in the fullness of your power. Praise God. Come, Holy Spirit, heavenly dove, with all your quickening power. Oh, thank you, Father. Praise God. Well, bless God. Well, bless God. Well, bless God. We give a shout out to Terry in Colorado. Hey, Terry, come on and say hello to us. Good morning, Pastor Cowder. Good, Good morning, Terry. Praise the Lord. It's a great morning. Yes. I'm excited to receive the word of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We just hold on. We'll be bringing that word in a moment. Okay. okay. All God's right. got a word. Hey, God Ryan Trogler, Tara, I mean, uh, yeah, Tara and Jenna, come on, Ryan, and say hello to us. Good morning, Pastor Carter. Good morning, church. How's everybody doing today? Praise the Lord. We're doing well. <clears throat> yes, I, I just got a little bit of a cold over here over the past couple of days. I'm getting over it now, but... Thank God for that. I'm getting over it, but we're doing. We're getting. We're not 100 percent. We're about 95 percent right now. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! That's better than 15 percent. That's better than 10 percent, isn't it? Oh yes, sir, it is. <laughs> well, we serve the mighty God. We believe God to take you over the top with that healing. He is the healer. You just wait on Him and trust Him, Ryan, with all your heart. Give our love and greetings to your household. Amen. Amen, Pastor. Uh, give our love to yourself and, and uh, Sister Jackie and, and her mom as well. Sure will. Sure will. Praise God. Sure will. Praise God. Hey, Dustina. Dustina, it's been a rough week, but God brought you through. Dustina, God's not finished. Come on and say hello to us. Amen. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning, church. God bless you. Uh, yeah, it's definitely been a little rough. We've The devil is on the move this week. Um, my daughter, she's really sick right now. I may have to take her to the doctor tomorrow. So please keep her in your prayers. We've given her meds. We've anointed. We've prayed. But it just won't kick. So we're going to have to rely on a man physician. And maybe the Lord will work through him, through the doctor, to get her healed up. Um, also, we've been kind of hit financially. Um, for those that are on here that don't know, um, the man that Mike accidentally hit a couple weeks ago, he did die Wednesday. Um, we were told that he was on life support. We had no idea he was even on life support. All we knew that he had surgery and was in critical condition, so that was a major hit to us. We're still grieving over it. I think I'm taking it harder than anybody, and I wasn't even there, but I've always been that way. I've always been very tender-hearted towards stuff like that, 
So please just keep us in your prayers. And we know the Lord's got this. And we know what the devil's doing. His time is short and the Lord's coming. And we're going to rebuke it. And we're going to stay strong in our faith. And we know we're going to get through this. So thank you all for the prayers. And we greatly appreciate you all so much. So thank you all. And God bless you. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. And God bless you and Michael and Nikki and Destiny and Nathan. And God's got this, as you said. And uh, uh, Destiny, we're going to be praying for you. And we believe in God to heal you and uh, to use the doctor Amen. to bring that healing. God has the healing. You just keep trusting in the Lord. Your mom has anointed you. They've given you medication. And now it's up to the Lord. And God has never lost a case. He has never failed. We praise God. And God's going to bring you all through that trauma of that accident. It was an accident. Uh, household, random household, it was an accident. And, and God's going to get, deliver you from that. Don't let Satan accuse you of anything. It was an accident. And we're praying for your family. And we're praying for that man's family. He darted yes. out in front of cars on a five or six lane highway. It, and we're not blaming him, but it was not your fault. It was an accident. And God is able to deliver. He will give you peace. And do not fret. Do not worry. And we bind Satan the accuser in the name of Jesus. We cast down all vain imaginations. We cast down all of Satan's ungodly suggestions in the name of Jesus. We take authority in this situation. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we lift up Dustina and her household. We lift up Michael and the children. And we pray for the family of the man who, was, who died in this car accident. It was an accident, Lord God. And you, only you know the circumstances of it. And so, Lord, we lift up uh, both families to you. Ask that you bring peace and joy, and that, that the joy of the Lord will be their strength. Lord, rebuke the devourer. Rebuke the devourer, we pray, in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, we know that sickness has hit that household also. Sickness has hit the Trogler household. Sickness has hit many people. And, Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that you bring healing. You are the healer. You said in your word, I am the Lord that healeth thee. And we believe you, Lord. We believe you. Your, your, your word reminds us that you are not a man that you should lie or the Son of Man, that you should repent. And so we thank you. You said your word will not return until you void. It will accomplish that which you have purpose to do. it to do. It will prosper in the thing wherein you have sent it. So help us to wait patiently on you, Lord, and we bless you, and we praise you, and we thank you. Lord, we just know you have abundant blessings for your people. And so we come boldly to the throne of grace, and we worship you, Lord God. And we worship you and bless you and praise you in Jesus' mighty name. Praise God. Mm -hmm. We're going to you have your monitors on. You can see on my screen, you can see our intercessors. You can see the intercessors on this screen. Uh, you see at the top row, you see me, you see Paul Begley, you see Marcus Wolverton, you see Johnny uh, Hunt, you see uh, David, um, and then you see... Um, uh, on the bottom row, uh, Sister Heidi and Sister Linda and Katz Gardner. And then you see Tanya and then Cindy Wolverton. And sitting on the floor is Jackie. These are the intercessors for the Paul Bakery ministry. Pray for them. Amen. Pray for them. Pray. Intercessors need prayer too. Pray for yes. the intercessors. And, and while you're praying, lift up Pastor Paul that God will heal him from the flu. Deliver him in Amen. the name of Jesus. And then ask God to cover the intercessors with the blood of Jesus. And then I want to give a shout out to my personal intercessors. Some of you are online. I thank you for being my intercessors for praying for me and Jackie. We praise God. And we need to pray for one another. We need to love yes. one another. I thank you. Thank you for your prayers. And we pray for you and your household. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Um, I remember... Well, my daughter was a cheerleader in Chester, Pennsylvania, for the high school, and they had a they had a a cheer a cheer called "Be Aggressive, Be Be Aggressive, Be Be 
B A E A G G R E S S I V E. Be aggressive. Well, I change that. I change that, and I adapt this to the body of Christ. Be encouraged. Be be encouraged, Dustina. Be encouraged, Ryan. Be encouraged, Terry. Be encouraged. Be be encouraged. B E E N C O U R A G E D. Be encouraged. Be be encouraged. B E E N C O U R A G E D. Be encouraged. And be encouraged, intercessors, because Satan likes to attack intercessors. But count it all joy. Count it as joy when you enter into diverse temptations. When the money gets funny, when the body is under attack, count it as joy. Rejoice. I know it's hard to rejoice when your body's aching. Hey, Sylvia Curtis, be encouraged. I know it's, it's hard to rejoice when you feel nauseous and your body's aching, but be encouraged. Mm -hmm. Lift up the mighty name of Jesus and praise the Lord. Tell Vernon to be encouraged, Sylvia. Lift up the mighty name of Jesus and praise the Lord. And when the praises go up, the blessings come down. When the praises Amen. go up, the blessings come down. And so we praise God. All right, all right. Praise God. Praise God. Thank God for each and every one of you. Let's get ready to look into some word now. Let's look into some word. This word is going to bless you. It's going to keep you, and it's going to uh, keep your household, and it's going to help you to help other people. The word of God comes from Psalms 61, verse 2. Psalm 61, verse 2. The word says, from the end of the earth. Will I cry unto thee? When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. There's an anointing on that word. There's an anointing on that word. Let me read it one more time. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than then I, we're going to ask Ryan to lead us in prayer. Ryan, can you do that for us, please? <coughs> yeah, can you hear me pretty good, Pastor? Yes, Pastor? sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for making this day again today. Uh, we want to thank you for dying on the cross and shedding your blood for all of our sins. Uh, we want to thank you for giving us the word today through Pastor Carter. Uh, give him all the wisdom and knowledge you can possibly can. <clears throat> we want to, we want you to come down here and heal all the sick, heal the deaf, heal the blind. Let them see you. Let them hear your word. And we know you're an awesome God because we do serve an awesome God. And we just want to say we love you, praise you, and honor you, and glorify you. In Jesus Christ's precious name, amen. 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 Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And uh, hey, Nathan and Nikki and um, Destiny, we have not forgotten you. Uh, you keep on loving the Lord and serving the Lord and obeying your parents and watch what God will do for you. Okay, Psalm 61, verse 2, one, one more time. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Let's put ourselves in David's shoes. Let's put ourselves in David's shoes. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. He says, from the end of the earth, no matter where I am on the earth, no matter what's going on, no matter where I am, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. David established in his heart that no matter what's going on and no matter where he was, when troubles would come, he asked God to lead him to the rock that is higher than I. David knew that rock. He had called upon the rock on many occasions. He knew that rock. That rock was God Almighty. And we know that solid rock as Jesus. Jesus said, on this rock I'll build my church. And, he, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Praise God. Jesus established 
in the word of God on this rock. I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Even when our hearts are overwhelmed, even when we feel as though we cannot see our way out, even though the, the nights may be long, Dustina, and the days may be dark, and the neighbors are talking about you, and, and people have their opinions, even through it all, lead me to the rock, hallelujah, that is higher than I. That rock, this rock is Jesus. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. He has never lost a case. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. No matter what comes upon you, no matter what kind of threats Satan makes against you, lead me to the rock, and you can go to that rock. That rock is just one cry away. Jesus, I come to you in your mighty name. Lord Jesus, I call upon you. Or Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. When you use the name of Jesus, you are at the rock. When you call upon, listen to this, ladies and gentlemen, when you call upon the name of Jesus, the angels encamp around you. The angels are activated. The angelic forces are activated to fight your battle. Hey, Ryan Trogler, when you call upon the mighty name of Jesus, the angels rush to your defense. No matter where you are in the world, no matter what's going on, when you call upon the name of Jesus, hey, Jeep girl out there in Colorado, when you call upon the name of Jesus, no matter what the situation looks like, the angels are right there. The Bible says, for the angel of the Lord and camps around about them that fear him and delivers them. The angel will deliver. You call on the name of Jesus. Your body may be racked in pain. The doctors may have shaken their heads. Uh, your body may, 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 want, may want to give up. But you call on the name of Jesus. David was in a situation and he gave us a, a testimony in Psalm 40. He said, I waited patiently on the Lord, and he inclined unto me, and he heard my cry, and he brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and he set my feet upon a rock, and established my going, and he put a new song in my heart, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it, and shall fear, and shall trust in the Lord. When we look at the life of David, we see that he was in many situations when his heart was overwhelmed. When he went to, the, uh, to visit the army to take bread and cheese to his brothers, he saw Goliath threatening uh, the children of Israel, the army of Israel. For 40 days, Goliath came out on the plain and uh, uh, on the field and threatened the army of Israel and challenged anyone to come and fight against them. And the even King Saul, as powerful as he was, trembled, and the army of Israel trembled. But David, David, David said, I'll take on this giant. David took on the giant, ladies and gentlemen. When your heart is overwhelmed and it doesn't look like you can win and the percentages are against you and the, the uh, public opinion is against you and everything looks like it's against you, call upon the name of Jesus. The songwriter said, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So will I be saved from my enemies. The psalmist David himself wrote, The Lord liveth, and blessed be the rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. Something mighty happens when we call upon the name of the Lord. Hey, intercessors, something mighty happens when you call upon the name of the Lord. God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, intercessors. God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, body of Christ. Call on the name of the Lord. Acknowledge him. In all your ways, acknowledge him. He will direct your path. David gives us many testimonies uh, in the psalm, through the Psalms. And as we read about him in, in, uh, in 1 Samuel, we get so much information about this young man who had all kinds of experiences, even when he sinned, 
even when he sinned and Satan tried to condemn him and the dark clouds loomed over David and his life looked like doom and gloom. David did not, uh, did not uh, forget God. He called upon the Lord. And the Bible says, every one of us sin. We've come short of his glory. And David, in his time of sin, when he did something he should not have done with another man's wife, and then he had that same man murdered, David, when he realized his sin, he repented. He repented. Ladies and gentlemen, thank God for repentance. Thank God that he gives us a space for repentance. David repented. He asked God to forgive him. He wrote Psalm 51. He said, uh, cleanse me with hyssop. Create in me a clean heart. Renew a right spirit within me. He said, against thee and against thee only, God, I have sinned. He knew he had sinned against another man and sinned against his wife. But David said, God, I have sinned against you. It's against you that I have sinned. Forgive me. Forgive me, Father. Create in me a clean heart. He was running to the rock, ladies and gentlemen. That's the only place to go. Not to the drug cabinet. Not to the uh, liquor alcohol uh, uh, cabinet. Not to uh, 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 somebody else's wife. Not to uh, the, the bank to withdraw money. Not to the mall to shop until he dropped. No, David did not do all that. He ran unto the Lord. He put on sackcloth. He put on ashes. And he laid before the Lord. And he cried unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, forgive me. God hears that kind of cry. And intercessors, when you're praying unto the Lord, God hears that cry when you make intercession for someone else. There are many people, intercessors, who cannot pray for themselves. Some people are so sick, they can't pray for themselves. Some get so overwhelmed by the sickness, they can't even pray for themselves. But God hears the intercessors when they pray. Sylvia, God hears the prayers. God hears the intercessors. God will come on, on time. He may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. The scripture says, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. I want to remind you of what the Bible says. No matter what the devil puts on you, it will not prosper. It will not prosper because God's word says no weapon formed against me shall prosper. So trust in the Lord with all your heart, with all your heart. When troubles come, run to the Lord, run to the Lord, seek his face, seek his face, get strength, get renewed in the Lord. When sickness comes, run to the Lord, hide yourself in the Lord, wait on the Lord, stay in that place. When the flu attacks, when uh, arthritis attacks, when uh, heart trouble attacks, when cancer attacks, no matter what the attack, run to the Lord. Hide yourself in the Lord. Hide yourself in the Lord. Psalm 91 says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Praise God. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. No plague shall come near our dwelling, the Bible says. A thousand may fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand, but it will not come nigh us, the word of God says. So trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. I'm so glad God has a word at the online church. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that those of you who are listening in by way of the recording, uh, I'm so glad that you can hear this word. God wants you to know that he's got it. He's got it. He's got the whole world in his hands. You can go to the ends of the earth, and if trouble attacks you there, you can call on the Lord. You don't have to be overwhelmed. When your heart is overwhelmed, when your burdens are heavy, when you, 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 you've had it with sickness, you, you're tired and sick and tired of being sick, you just call on the Lord. The Bible says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. When my heart is overwhelmed, David said, I will call upon the Lord. He says, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. God loves it when we come to him. I say God loves it when we come to him. 
God wants to know that he is God. He wants us to acknowledge that he is God. He wants us to turn to him, not to turn to anybody else. Turn to the Lord. Nathan, call on the Lord. Call on the name of the Lord, and the Lord will deliver you. He'll deliver your family. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. The Bible says, I've never seen any man made ashamed who put his trust in the Lord. And the scripture even says, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Oh, I'm so glad for the online church. I'm so glad that people can hear this word. I'm so glad that uh, for those who cannot drive today, who don't feel like getting out of their house, who don't feel like going through all that traffic, who just don't feel right in their body, I'm so glad that this word can come to you right where you are. I'm so glad that Jesus loves you and loves me, and he has a word for us. I'm so glad that he loves us so much that he's willing to come to us wherever we are. So fret not, ladies and gentlemen. Stop worrying. Stop worrying. Hey, Ryan, stop worrying about it. God's got the blessing. He's, he's got the blessing, and he's got the timing. Stop worrying, Terry. God's got everything in his hands. He knows how much you've prayed. He knows the tears that you have shared. Shed. He knows, Dustina, how much you can take. Just wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Isaiah says, wait on the Lord and be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. The Bible teaches us that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. The Bible says we have hope as an anchor for our soul. Our soul is anchored in Jesus Christ. And the Bible teaches us that Jesus is the forerunner who's already gone beyond the veil, and our hope is anchored in him. We are in him, and he's gone beyond the veil into the Holy of Holies in heaven. We are in Christ, and Christ is in us, and no weapon formed against us shall prosper. I'm so glad the Bible says what shall separate us from the love of God shall tribulation, shall peril, shall death, shall famine. No, 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 none of these, none of these shall be able to separate us from the love of God. The scripture says, I am persuaded that he's able to keep that which I have committed unto him. We've committed our lives to him, ladies and gentlemen. We've committed our soul to him. And so, so we have a promise from God. We have a promise for God. Dustina says, it's so worth it if it will bless others and get souls in heaven. Yes, 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 it's worth it. It's worth going through these trials and tribulations. I'm so glad we did not quit. Aren't you glad you did not quit? Aren't you glad you did not quit when they repossessed your car or they foreclosed on you? or you got laid off from your job, or, 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 or you were denied a promotion, aren't you glad you did not quit? Hey, 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 the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. Continue to trust in the Lord. Continue to trust in the Lord. All hail the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate fall. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Persevere, ladies and gentlemen. Persevere. You're not in this by yourself. You're not in this by yourself. We have a helper to help us. We have a helper to help us. We have the Holy Spirit to help us. Ladies and gentlemen, do not underestimate the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is God. He was in the beginning with God. He was in the beginning with Jesus. All things were created by him. Nothing was created by him that was created. And the very one who created the heaven and the earth, the very one who raised Jesus from the dead, he lives inside of you and me. Get that, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on to that. Embrace that. The very God who created the heaven and the earth, the very God who raised Jesus from the dead, lives inside of every believer. Yes, sickness may attack your body, but sickness cannot attack your soul. Sickness can attack your body, but it cannot conquer 
your soul. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the Holy One living inside of us. We have the Holy Ghost living inside of us. The Word of God promises us, Dustina, that when the enemy comes upon us like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard against him. That's a promise from God. No matter what he brings against you, Ryan, the Holy Spirit will raise up a standard against him, against the devil. I thank God. I praise God. I love the Lord. I bless the Lord with all my heart. I thank God that we're on the, the Lord's side. It's mighty good to be on the Lord's side. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for he is good, for he is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy to be praised. The Lord inhabits the praises of his people. So when the enemy comes upon you like a flood, when the finances get funny, when you don't see how you can make it, when you don't see how you're going to recover from this sickness, when the doctor says that, that's all we can do. When, when evil comes upon you, don't give up, don't quit, don't give up, don't quit. Be like David. I waited patiently on the Lord, and he inclined unto me, and he uh, uh, heard my cry. He brought me up out of a horrible pit, and he set my feet upon a solid rock. He established my goings, and he put a new song in my mouth. Many shall hear it and shall praise the Lord. Oh, glory to God. Keep on singing. Keep on singing. Keep on singing. I'll keep on singing. You keep on singing. Keep on singing praises unto the Lord. I'll keep on singing. You keep on singing. Sing praises unto the Lord. When the praises go up, the blessings come down. When the praises go up, the blessings come down. As you sing unto the Lord, Dustina, as you sing praises unto the Lord, blessings are on the way. Blessings are on the way. You tell Michael, sing unto the Lord a new song. He has done mighty things. His great hand and his holy arm have gotten him the victory. I'm going to sing unto the Lord a new song. I'm going to sing unto the Lord a new song. I'm going to sing about his goodness. I'm going to sing about his mercy. I'm going to sing about his power to save. I'm going to sing about his power to heal. I'm going to sing about his power to deliver. Oh, I feel good deep down in my sanctified soul today. I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. I feel good for you because I see the victory. I see the victory, Dustina. I see the victory, Ryan. I see the victory, Terry. I see the victory, Elijah, over in Kenya. I see the victory, Adelphi Davis, in Jamaica. I see the victory, Annika, in Sweden. I see the victory. God is the mighty God. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind me. Victory today is mine. Put the devil under your feet. Do a holy dance. Do the happy duck. Dance on his head. Dance on Satan's head. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. V-I-C-T-O-R-Y. Victory. Victory is mine. God gave me the victory. I'm going to dance the victory. And when you praise God, when you praise God, Satan has to flee. He cannot hang around. When you praise God, influenza cannot hang around. When you praise God, arthritis cannot hang around. When you praise God, nausea cannot hang around. When you praise God, troubles cannot hang around. When you praise God, poverty cannot hang around. Poverty has to move over for prosperity. Sickness has to move over for health. Gloom has to move over for joy. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Praise God. I'm so glad. I'm so glad to be saved. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. I'm so glad that he saved you. I'm so glad that he indwells us. I'm so glad that he lives on the inside of us. I praise God. I praise God. I praise God. I worship you, Holy Spirit. I worship you, Heavenly Father. I worship you, Lord Jesus. Greater are you in us than he that's in the world. And so, Father, I ask that you bless your people today. Pour out your anointing, God. Break every yoke, God. In the name of Jesus, break the yoke. Destroy the yoke of sickness and disease. Destroy the yoke of sickness and disease, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
We rebuke the spirit of sickness and disease. Break the yoke of poverty, lack, and want, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, destroy the yoke of poverty, lack, and want. Oh, God, I thank you. Pour out an abundance upon your people. Lord God, so many people are depressed at Christmas time because they don't have what they would like to have. But God, I bind that spirit of depression. I bind that demon of depression. Satan, loose the people. Take your hands off the children of God, I command you, in the name of Jesus. For it is written, for my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus. So we bind the oppressor. We bind the depressor in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Lord God, help us to walk in love toward one another. Let us not hate. Let us not be divisive. Let us not intimidate others. Let us not try to control others. Let us not be envious or jealous of others. Create in us clean hearts, Lord. Oh, God, create in me a clean heart. As David wrote, renew a right spirit within me. Lord God, I acknowledge my sins and transgressions. Oh, God, create us in us a clean heart. Forgive the people of their sins, Lord God. Pour out your spirit, God. Pour out your spirit upon us. And I thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord God. And I bless you and I praise you in Jesus' mighty name. What a mighty God we serve. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Lord Jesus, you are that rock. You are that solid rock. You are that solid rock. You are my solid rock. You are my salvation. You are my deliverer. You are all we need. Greater are you in us than he that's in the world. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Lord God, we thank you. Thank you that your spirit is moving upon the hearts of your people right now. Rise up, Holy Spirit, like rivers of living water. Rise up in Sylvia like rivers of living water. Rise up in Vernon. Rise up in Terry. Rise up in Ryan. Rise up in Tara. Rise up in Jenna. Rise up in Dustina. Rise up in Nathan. Rise up in Michael. Rise up in Nikki. Rise up in destiny. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, rise up in Robert. Rise up in all of your people, Lord God. Rise up in, in uh, all of your people, God. I'm, thinking, I'm looking at your picture. Rise up in cats, God. In the name of Jesus. Rise up in Linda. Rise up in Tanya. Rise up in uh, Paul. Pastor Paul. Sister Heidi, Jackie, oh God, rise up in all of your people, God. David, Mark, Cindy, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, we need you. We need you. We need you. Rise up, God. I pray for the intercessors today. You'll strengthen them. Strengthen us all, Lord God. Rise up in our president. Rise up in our leaders. Rise up in our nation. Oh God, raise up a nation of righteous and holy people. Raise up a nation of righteous and holy people. God reveal the truth in this nation. You said we shall know the truth and the truth shall make us free. Bind every lying spirit, God, every lying demon, every lying journalist, every lying uh, public relations person. Lord God, help us to seek the truth and the truth is in your word. God, you said we shall know the truth and the truth shall make us free. And so we bless you. We ask that you stretch forth your hand, God, across this mighty nation and the nations of the world. Do not forget the nations of the world. We have not forgotten you, Kenya. God, raise them up. Give them the, the, the materials they need, God, and the resources to build their new church on the land that you've given them, Lord God. Oh, God, we praise you. Lord, bless your people. Bless your people in Canada, Lord. Bless your people in Nova Scotia. Remember Perry Miller and Teresa in Nova Scotia, Lord God. We pray for them. Oh, Father, we love you. We bless you and honor you. And we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Let, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. I am redeemed. I am redeemed. I'm washed in the blood of the Lamb. I'm washed in the blood of the Lamb. 
no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. In Jesus' name, we praise you and thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Saints, I want you to make this bold declaration with me. Make this bold declaration with me. Repeat after me wherever you are. Repeat after me. I'm a child of God. I'm washed in the blood of the Lamb. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. I will run to the rock. I will run to Jesus. All my help comes from the Lord. I trust you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I receive my blessing today. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. And if you're listening today, if you're listening today and you're not saved, you can be saved today. You can be saved right now. In the next few moments, we want to take time out to help you to get saved. God wants to save you. If you're listening and, and you say, I go to church. Yes, you go to church. You may say, I've been baptized. Yes, you've been baptized. But you know whether or not you're saved. You know. You know. If you have not received Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, you're not saved. But you can be saved. Well, Pastor, how can I be saved? Well, the scripture says that if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. So let's make a confession wherever you are. You can be in the United States. You can be in Canada. You can be in Nova Scotia. You can be in France. You can be in England, any part of Europe. You can be in Africa. You can be in South, you can be in South America, wherever you're hearing this message. You can be saved today. So let's get saved by making the confession according to Romans chapter 10, 9, and 10. Romans 10, 9, and 10. Let's confess Jesus as Lord. Make this confession with me. Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you took away my sins on the cross. I believe you were buried and on the third day you arose from the dead. I believe you ascended into heaven where you sit on the right hand of the throne of God. I want you to be my Savior and my Lord. And I receive the gift of salvation today, this very moment. I receive salvation by faith. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, praise God, praise God, praise God. We believe people have come to the kingdom of God today. The angels in heaven are rejoicing. The angels in heaven are rejoicing. And I want to encourage you to find a good local church where you can attend. We thank you. I want you to continue to visit the online church, but also find a good local church where you can get under the teaching of a solid pastor and be covered uh, with the fellowship of, of true believers and, 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 and learn how to grow together and be a help with that ministry and help others to get saved and to fellowship and become a worshiper of God. And we thank you, Father, for all this and more. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you. Amen. Well, praise God, we're going to stop our recording, but we want